Hello, my name is THE Air Conditioner, because why not? Welcome back to another episode of Solitary Craft Rift in Time. I finally found out what it was I was going to do in the other episode. Basically, it was a uh, necromancy. Because we have all these organs and such, as you can see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I moved them. These organs right here kind of thing. And basically, what I went and did, which helped me uh, remember and such. Oh, God, it's a demon head. Back. All right. He's dead. Basically, I dug this little uh, necromancy chamber. Pretty cool, I think. Took me like maybe 10 minutes or something. Pretty cool. Got all the organs in here. Let's just put these in there. Basically, what we need to start it out is we need a scythe, which we can make from an iron hoe, a stick, and a jar of blood. In order to make that, we need a bone needle, which is basically bone meal. So we got all these bones here. And we need the sewing machine to make all these body parts, because mainly necromancy is all about making your own mutant things. Like you want a squid villager, pig, chicken? Where's the chicken? Somewhere. And yeah, you can have that, which is uh, pretty crazy, but yeah. Alright, so we need some string, which I have back in the house. Oh, XP. Alright, T then, let's go in here. One of these days I'll break this block of emerald. Alright, we need one string. Okay, now we put that there. I believe you put one bone there. Oh wait, no, you need a... Oh god. Skeleton! Get out of here! Alright, now that... Never mind. We got Blocky taking him out. Oh, he's shooting my birds! Blocky, what are you doing? Stop hugging him! No! Oh, there he is. Alright. Not the end of the world. I summon you back! Yeah. There we go. Alright, back to what we were doing. Gotta make some bone meal. You get one bone needle for each one, so we got three. Okay. Now that we have that, now it should work. Alright, there we go, we got it. Okay, now for the bone needle, you can actually do some more stuff with this. I don't know if you need a glass jar or not, so let's just make that real quick. Pretty much you need the blood for the ritual stuff. There we go, got a nice little glass bottle. And I believe you can do it on any mob kind of thing, not just like default ones, but just to be safe, let's uh, do it on this cow if it has enough health. Alright, I think you just right click it or whack it. Oh, no, apparently you just whack it. Alright, see we lost the bottle. Alright, cool, we got a jar of blood. Nice. Alright, now we need to make a iron hoe and I have some obsidian here. Then we should get the scythe. We can make a better scythe, but we need the previous one, and that one's a whole diamond, even though it's not too big of a deal, but whatever. We'll see if we uh, upgrade it later. I might have different features along with it. Okay, so we need an iron hoe. Oh yeah, I forgot we can't really make that now, can we? Hmm, how are we going to get that if we can't exactly make that? Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. Oh. Oh, that works. Right, so we need an iron shovel head and an iron axe head, and we get it. Okay, we can actually easily do that. Problem solved. Alright, we need our thingies. Where are they? Shovel head, and I believe the axe head's already out there. We have plenty of iron, so we should be good. Alright, that's the uh, axe head. Yes. Move you. We go get the shovel head. There we go. And there we go. Let's just replace this. Now we've run back inside. And let's see if this puppy works. Axe head. And then shovel head. Alright, cool, it works. Perfect. Ooh, achievement. Nice. Okay, that there, that there, and Alright, cool, we did it. Time to strike. Quite the, uh, striking weapon, if you ask me. And I believe what this thing is for, because I've actually done ne necromancy in the past. Pretty, uh, gruesome stuff. You have to murder them, he disappears, and you basically stole his soul, put it in a jar. So, uh, yeah, now that we have that, now we need to get a summoning altar. And if I remember correctly, you need Necronomicon for that. So we need one more jar of blood and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, we have one more bone needle. I believe the bone needles are expended when you use them. 
Okay, I guess we'll use the roof cow. See if that works. Eh. Get back here. Ah, oh, he's just taunting me now. Right, let's use one of the, uh, yeah, the sheep. Okay. I'm gonna have to get more sheep in the future. But now, we got the jar of blood. Can you drink this? I oh, know you can't. Eat some of this cooked maca meat, which are these giant dinosaur cow things. We might start a farm with them, because the meat gives you absorption and everything. That's another day. Okay, now that we got the jar, we need a book, which I believe I have somewhere. Book, book, book. No, not in there. No. How do you make a book again? We need... Oh, you can make it like that. Just need some paper. Now, how do we get paper? Out of the way, Jacobos. Uh, oh, there we go. Sugar cane. I think we need... Nine should be good, I think. There we go. Oh, oh, so I only need three. Oh, whatever. Then we need some dead cow. Don't know why I'm making three books, but whatever. Might need them in the future. Okay, got the book. Check. Now, we need a feather. Not chicobo feather. We need... Feather. Done. Four leather. One, two, three, four. Done. Now we need... Nether wart and an ink sack. Hmm, I might need to go get the ink sack from the ocean because I don't think I have any, honestly. Wow, inventory is beyond crowded. I just dump the iron ore and gold ore in there. Let's put this in there. Maybe while we're at it, we can get some squid. Oh, why did I just drop this? Some squid soles or something? Make a whole bunch of bottles. Oh, something's hurting me, please. Oh, it's a baby zombie. See, now you kill him. There we go. All right, anywho. And there we go. Chuck the rest. And we have almost a full stack of bottles. Perfect. Now, just put that, get rid of the extra. Let's go kill ourselves a squid. Maybe get another squid soul or something. Wait, do we have any more bones? Yes, we do. All right, so you can just make them in your inventory. All right, cool. I think I saw some squids over here. If I'm not mistaken. I should probably go around. Come on, squids, where are you? I need your squid blood and such. Come on. Not seeing any. Normally you see them like in the hundreds or something. Oh, there you are. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. Thought there was one over there. Alright. Or we could just get the squid ink. Hmm, painlessly. Now nah, I want some squid souls. Alright, let's just see what we can drop. Get rid of that. Uh, glass we don't need. Hiya. Oh, so it doesn't one shot them like I thought. It more of like you have to get the finishing hit with this and then you get the soul. But then the blood, you can just keep whacking them with it. And it only kills them when, I th when they're out of health, off, obviously. But regardless. Get a whole bunch of jars of blood, like we have 17 now. We need those for, uh, you know, making our monsters. Grab more squid ink, because if we want to use squid body parts, you actually need to use the item corresponding to the creature, if I remember correctly. Like, you want an iron golem, you need iron blocks or something. But the creature that you make has a whole bunch of health. Okay, so now we gotta swim our way over there. I really gotta get myself a boat at some point. And fix that water. Ah, I got a lot of stuff to do. Okay. Now let's run over here. To my awesome little necromancy chamber thing. Oh, wait, no. First we have to build the book, obviously. Ah, where's my head today? Okay. Now we're back here. Got the book and everything. That there, that there. And I believe that there. You there. And then a jar of blood, I think, right? Oh, no. I messed it up completely. Jar blood on top. You there, you there. Necronomicon. Okay. Now, for this, I believe we need... Oh, we have everything we need. Perfect. Okay, we need to go down there. Gotta fix that at some point. Oh, no. So many things to do. Alright, this I have kind of just set up for... A nice little sewing machine. Basically, you just put some string or something in there. I think you can... Yeah, there we go. Then you put body parts like this, 
And oh, we should grab some string. I'll go get that later. And then you can uh, make the body parts and such. I think you actually like choose which one you want, or it's random. I don't know. Okay, so I believe, according to the picture there, you need something like there, there. And then I believe you put this there. Oh, and then you right click it, and then get your own uh, altar table thingy. Okay, cool. Now, as you can see, you need one jar of blood. Put that there. Or you can put all of them. Actually, let's just put all of them. Then the souls. And then you need body parts, which we're going to need to make out of random thingamawatsa. So I'm going to go quickly grab the string and a whole bunch of, like, parts for each thing, like ender pearls, cow, pig, everything, and uh, get right back to it. Okay, turns I'm fresh out of a whole bunch of body parts, so just kind of grab the essential stuff. I got some rotten flesh and all that. Got the string we needed. So sadly, we're not going to have much of a selection of things we can make, but that's something we can do at a later time. Okay, put the string, and I believe... Oh yeah, now I remember. It's more of something like... Pretty much what you need is you need skin, which I believe you put rotten flesh or something... Wait, no, it was a cow skin that you needed. Because you actually need to, like, build it where it's, like, these weird, like, you have, like, skin on the side, meat, muscle, and all that, and then you put the item you need. So I'm going to go quickly get a whole bunch of skin and all that, because I think it takes some time to craft it down. And I'm going to go get the recipes, because I don't think I'm ever going to be able to remember those. So, uh, yeah. Okay, got the leather, and I found out how to do the recipes. They're actually pretty weird, but we got it. Okay, so you can put the leather in any slot I found out. And you can get eight skin from one, which is pretty nice. So there's a stack. There's more. Got more bone needles. And good. We have quite the amount. Let's just dump the rest of the skin in there. We need muscles and all that. We need a set of lungs. Uh, hmm. Actually, let's just put the string in here. There we go. Ah, so much skin, jeez. Okay, we need some hearts and some brains. And then now, we can make some stuff. You actually need spider eyes, if you're gonna make the head, because, you know, eyes. And then you need the brain, there it is. Put that there. Then you get the skin, you surround it like this, and then this spot determines what, uh, you have. Like, if you want, like, say, an enderman, I believe. Put an enderman thing in there, then you get an enderman. You want a creeper? Put that in there, you get a creeper head. Pretty cool. Oh, wait, whoa. That was weird. Oh, wow, we can actually make creeper heads. But not, like, the kind of... Oh, wow, that's actually pretty weird. We're not making the other creeper head, we're making... Hmm. Alright, well, we learned something today. Okay, maybe a chicken head. That'd be pretty cool. Hmm. Actually, maybe you need a dead chicken. There we go. Chicken head, yes. Okay, now for the body... I believe it was this. You need that, that, that. Then you need... I believe it was muscle, muscle. You need lung, heart. Wait, no, no, this was skin. There we go. That there, like that. And then right here was... You need two things of whatever it is you're trying to get. So, like, you want a zombie, you put that there. But let's have a Enderman, because that'd be pretty cool. Enderman torso. Okay. Now for legs, you need like this. Then you need bones, I believe. Here and here. Not there. Then you need two muscle. My mouse will work with me here. There we go. And then we can put anything we, in, we need in here for the legs. And we need two of them, I believe. Or you just need one. Eh. Let's just dump that in there. And let's maybe squid legs. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, squid legs. Cool. Dump that there because we ain't got the room. And now we need arms. So, I know you need two arms for a fact. So we put these like that. I believe you need bones. And I think you need bones on the other side too. I don't know. <laughs> Forget already. Let's have pig arms. Alright, cool. Now we got pig arms. If ah, Inventory too full. Oh, they stack. Alright, cool. Alright, now that we have that, just leave those items on the floor. Now you can start putting the pieces in here. As you can see, it'll start floating. And their legs are down here, heads up here kind of thing. Pick up the bones. Ah. 
We need... Where is it? Of course, I didn't pick up anything. There we go, got the pig arms. One in here. You don't need two of the same, I'm just kind of doing that. Like, you can have a pig arm, then you can have, like, a squid arm or something like that. So this is how he's looking right now. Looking beautiful. Enderman body. There we go. Squid legs. And... There we... Oh, oh god, what have we made? Now I believe you just tap on this or something? Or whack it, I forget. Right, let me go quickly check that, because I completely forgot to check how to actually summon your monstrosity. Okay, so it turns out it's actually beyond easy. I'm just dumb. You hold shift, right click. Well, you have to right click the altar. And then... Your beautiful creation is made. I think this thing is beautiful. Now, I believe... If you would stop running... Oh, God. Alright, so if you right-click them, they stay put like a wolf kind of thing. And... I believe because of his squid legs or whatever, he can't fit through the door because... I think he needs like a 2x2 two two or something. Actually, let's test that. Come on, my minion. Oh, minion is free to move. Staying put, free to move. Hmm. I wonder if he's following me or not. Maybe he'll teleport. Oh, so he can. Alright. Scratch what I said earlier. They can fit through that. Okay. If we had a, you know, name tag, we could name him, but sadly I don't have one, even though it's kind of easy to make. But I guess we will name him, or it, rather. Uh, hmm. Hmm. What do you look like? You look like a... I honestly don't know what he looks like. Let's just name it It. That sounds like a pretty good name. I can't come up with anything. So, it over here. It's just gonna, you know, chill in the corner. Or leave. And leave me down here alone. But anywho, that's pretty much how to make a satanic hell spawn. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much about it. So, uh, yeah. Like the video if you- Oh, how did you get back down here? Oh, God. Li like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I will see you next time.